Hey, welcome to my first video in like 12 years. Sorry to keep you waiting, but in my defense, I've actually had a lot of good excuses. Um, some that I'm pretty proud of. It took me a while to come up with. But to spare you guys the shame of listening to a chronic procrastinator, let's, uh, I'll just get started with the lesson. Okay, so as you can see, today's lesson is all about how to say hello in Japanese. And I know you're probably thinking two things. One, what kind of teacher teaches how to swear before he teaches how to say hello? And uh, two, when did I get so damn boring? Okay, well the reason I'm teaching you this is that in anime and manga and drama, which is what this channel is focused towards, they don't really greet each other all that often. In fact, greetings are pretty boring. And of course everyone knows cussing is just much more useful. Okay, so I'm kidding, but I do want to teach you guys the top 10 ways to say hello in Japanese. Because just like in English, there's lots of different ways to say what's up, to greet you. Like, hello, hey, how's it going, how's your mama, what's up. Um, and I have come up with the top 10 list in Japanese. I know, I do like my top 10, but it just sounds so much more official than, hey, here's some ways to say hello. Okay, so the number one way to say hello in Japanese is Ohio. This actually means good morning, and is the general term you use to greet people all the way up to like 11 o'clock. Fortunately, I never really get to use this one because I wake up around 3, but so yeah. Ohio. Ohio. Now, if you want to get all fancy, you can add gozaimasu to the end, which makes Ohio gozaimasu. This is something you generally use with teachers, you know, people you want to impress, basically. Ohio gozaimasu, smiley! Alright, now the number two way, konnichiwa, this is something you use from around 11 to 6, uh, so basically you can equate it to the English good afternoon. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. This one also has a cute little variation, koncha, something that is created from people saying konnichiwa really fast, and this is something you basically use if you're a 8 year old girl. Okay, number three, konbawa. Here it is, I know you've been waiting for it. It's what you use from 6 to, well, bedtime. Or whenever the naked girl in the cake leaves. Konbanwa. Konbanwa. Now this one's a little bit formal, like adding gozaimasu to the end of Ohio. So it's something, again, you'd use when you want to impress somebody. A thought to me of when you'd want to use this is maybe when you're going over to a girl's parents' house to meet them for the first time. Konbanwa, Miley no san and here we have number five, mosh mosh. This is actually a lot closer to the English hello because it's used strictly on the phone. Mosh mosh. Mosh mosh. Now, as the legend goes, this one was developed by Japanese people to keep foxes from calling them because, as everyone knows, foxes can't say mosh mosh. I mean, come on. Mosh mosh. Hora, mosh mosh, oitte mi ne? Hora, mosh mosh. Hora ne, kitsune te baka da kara na. Okay, on to number six, Yoroshiku. And I'm actually a little bit of a liar here because this one doesn't really mean hello. It's actually more closer to something like give me your best regards, which is almost just as simple. Yoroshiku. Yoroshiku. Just like Ohio, you can add a formality to the back of it to make it more well, formal. Um, and in this case, it would be onegaishimasu, which would make Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Now, since this is such a weird word, I'll give you guys a few examples on when you'd want to give someone your best regards. Okay, on to number seven. Os. This one is used more by like tough guys. So it's kind of like the English yo. And um, also, it's used by people who do like martial arts and judo and stuff. Os. Os. Okay, apparently, this came from onegaishimasu, people just saying it really fast and it got shortened eventually. But now it's used at any time of the day among equally tough guys. Oh! Hi! Os also has several little variations like uis and os back there but all just mean the same thing and are just really said for cool purposes. Okay, number eight, domo. Yes, this is the domo from Domo Arigato, Mr. Roboto, but it also can be used as a greeting. Domo. Domo. Has a little bit of air of formality. It's not something I'd want to use around my friends or something, but it's not as stuffy as onegaishimasu or yoroshiku onegaishimasu or adding gozaimasu to the end of Ohio or whatever. Uh, and formality-wise, it probably fits in around here. Okay, number nine. Yo, 
This one's for cool guys, not something you want to use around your teacher or something. It's kind of like the English yo, but with a little bit more of a drawn out tone. So instead of yo, it's yo, just a little bit more extended there. Yo. Yo. Yo is also a sentence ender particle, which means you can stick it at the back of a sentence to kind of make like a verbal exclamation point. Oh, no, yo! Nonder? Chikan! Ah! Okay, and finally, number 10, yeah. This one is not as common, but you will hear it, especially among fruitier characters. Well, whatever the opposite of tough guy is, that doesn't make me sound like a jackass. Yeah. Yeah. So, like I said, it's used among fruitier characters, so basically you'll probably hear it from guys like this guy. Yeah. Okay, that's it for the top 10 ways to say hello. As always, I want to thank you guys so much for all your comments, subscriptions, and just all that awesome stuff that makes my day and week and all the time. You guys are great. I really appreciate it and read every single one, even if I can't respond. Uh, and also, I want to tell you guys that you can go to JapaneseTrenime.com and get a lot more like Japanese uh, hello greeting related words there. So, as always, thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, one more thing I totally forgot. I have a favor to ask you guys. I put together, a while ago I put together this server thing, and the link should be in the down bar also. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you that the down bar link also has the uh, link to the hello and reading related words. But anyway, if you guys could go there and fill it out, it's really short, it'll take you about two minutes total. And it really helps me put together lessons and kind of understand you guys a little bit more. So I sent it out to my original list, 200 subscribers, a long time ago. But if you guys could fill out for me, I'd really appreciate it. It'd be really cool. It won't take you very long. But either way, thank you very much for everything. And I'll see you guys next time.